Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rahul Reddy and today I'll be talking to you about how to rotate the injection insulin sites. So injection insulin can be given for four areas of the body. One is the abdomen, second the thigh, third is the upper arms and fourth is the buttocks. So I'll be showing you with these diagrams how your insulin injection sites can be rotated. If you see this first image, you can see that the abdomen is divided into four quadrants or four quarters, week one, week two, week three, week four. So you should use each quadrant or each quarter for one week and then move on to the next quadrant. Within one quadrant, again, you should give the injection insulin in a clockwise manner so that you don't give it in the same location again and again. If you see the thighs here in the next diagram, again you can have four different areas here or four quadrants for the two thighs and choose one area for week one, then go to the other area for week two and week three and week four accordingly. And within that one week, you rotate in a clockwise manner so as to avoid repeated injections in the same site. This is an easy and simple way of rotation. We'll go to another technique of rotation now. As you can see in this image, the abdomen is divided into different rows. So for different days of the week, you can go from top to bottom. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday from top to bottom. And different if after finishing in that week, you move to the side from left to right or right to left to give in the different areas of the abdomen. If you take the thigh, Again, on different days of the week, from Monday to Sunday, go from top to bottom. And after finishing that week, then move to the side and use the next column and go from top to down. Likewise, go to the other thigh and use it in a similar fashion. So like this, you can rotate the injection insulin sites in a different manner compared to the first. Now let me show you another different way in which injection insulin sites can be rotated. Here in this figure, you can see that the abdomen is divided into circles, the inner circle, the middle circle and the outer circle. Now if you take a particular day like a Monday, if you are giving injection insulin three times a day for breakfast, lunch and dinner, you can use the inner circle for breakfast, middle circle for lunch and outer circle for dinner. So go from in to out for different time of the day for the same day and then for the next day again go to the site and use go to the sidewards and use a different location so like this different days of the week you can use different areas of the circle without giving it in the same site and causing any problems so if you rotate the injection insulin sites like this you can avoid lipohypertrophy or lipoatrophy which is bumps and lumps in this fat tissue or any scar formation in the tissue. I hope this was helpful for you and let me tell you a couple of things as well in addition that if you're using a particular type of insulin like a long acting insulin for a particular area then keep giving it in the same area as the absorption varies at different sites. Suppose you're using rapid acting insulin in a particular area like abdomen, continue using it in the same site so that the absorption will remain the same on all days. I hope this video was useful. Thank you.